Hi friends, today we're gonna to do module five, lesson 15, objective. Count up and down by tens to 100 with say 10 and regular counting. So for this picture right here, we see that there are four tens. And right here we've written four tens. We can also say that this is 40. There's 40 dots here. Let's get started. All right, we will play a game called Write Teen Numbers. I want you to count the stars on the board and write the number that you see. I will give you a marker point so that you know where you started. Make sure you don't count that star again. All right, let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Can you write the number fourteen with me on the board? One and a four. What number is that? 14. Nice job counting in a circle and stopping before you got back to the starting point. You don't want to keep counting in a circle. All right, friends, I need your help. The number is written in the box, but I don't think I have that many hearts, so we need to finish the picture. Let's find out how many hearts we have and how many more we need to add. And I'm just going to do a circle. So we need 14 hearts. Let's see how many we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have eleven. Now we need to keep counting until we get to fourteen. So start at eleven, stop at fourteen. Ready? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now we have fourteen hearts. 11 plus 3 equals 14. Great job. All right, let's count and see how many sons I have. And then we need to make sure that we match the number 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oops, let me move that for you, friends. We're on 5. Ready? And 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 10 orange stars. 10 and how many more makes 12? 10 and 2. Great job. Two more suns. So we have all together 10 orange suns and two yellow suns. 10 and 2 makes 12. Great job. All right, I am going to give you a team number and I want you to say it the say 10 way. So for example, for this one, we know that that's 14 and you would say 10, four. Say it, good job, 10, four, 14. What about this one? 17, 10, seven. This one? 15, 10, five. 19, 10, nine. And one more. 12, 10, 2. Great job. All right, friends, Mr. Perry is decorating donuts. He puts 14 little dots of chocolate in rows. Show um, an idea of how he could put those chocolate chips on his donut. We need 14. So if you have your board or paper in front of you, I need 14 dots. I'm going to make mine a little bit bigger so that you can see. And I'm going to try and organize them nicely for you. So he is going to add 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then he's going to add four to the bottom. Ten plus four makes 14. One, two, three, four. Now, what are the two parts that we need to use to fill in our number bond? Look at the picture and look at the number bond. So what is this part right here? This is our 
whole. So how many chocolate chips does he have all together on his donut? 14. How do we write 14? A one and a four. Great job. How many chocolate chips are on top? 10. How many chocolate chips are on the bottom? Four. Great job, friends. Now I'm going to represent 14 down here with our hide zero cards by dra dragging up the four and covering over the zero that is within our 10 ones, our one inside of 14. Great job. All right, make sure that you are practicing your vocabulary this week. I want you to be practicing counting to 100 by tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Good job. So make sure you practice that and I will send out some fun videos for you to do so. Great job. Oh, whoa, friends. Look at this math tool. Let's figure out how many beads it has on it by looking at the rows. How many beads are on this first row? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I notice I have five red beads and I have five white beads. Five and five makes ten. I also noticed that each of these rows look the same. That must mean that this row has 10, this row has 10, this row all the way down, they all have 10. So that means that we can count by tens to figure out how many we have. Are you ready? Okay, help me out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How many beads are on it? 100, great job. We're gonna count the say 10 way now. So I'm gonna say two tens, 20, right? So we've got two tens, 20. Now we're gonna add one. Three tens, 30. Four tens, 40. Five tens, what would that be? 50. Six tens, 60. Seven tens, 70. Good job. Eight tens, 80. Nine tens, 90. Ten tens makes 100. You counted that so quick. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100. Great job, friends. All right, I am going to say a number and I want you to help me pull out how many cards I need. So for example, I'm going to say five tenths. How many of these 10 frames would I need to bring over here to my teacher side? Five tenths. You're right, let's count out five 10 cards. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how can we count them the very quickly and figure out how much is five tens? We count the say the the ten ten way. So counting by tens. Ready? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. On your board or paper, can you write fifty with me? Short neck, belly fat, number five wears a hat. Five, zero. This zero doesn't represent nothing. It represents the 10 ones in each of these. All right, and we've got five tens, which is represented by the five in the tens column. Great job. In the ones column, we have zero. We have zero extra ones over here. But if I were to add an extra one, Right there, my green one, it's extra. We would change our number. Instead of being 50, it would be 51. All right? That's a big number. Way to go, friends. All right, on your board or paper, I want you to help me practice writing your um, tens. This is part of your math project for this week. So if you do it now, snap a picture and send it to your teacher. So we have 10, right? 10 on your board right here. Let me see if I can. Move it a little bit over for you so you can see well. Write 10 on your board and then either next to it or right underneath, write 20. All right, friends, now with me, write 30, 
Good. I'm going to change it so that you can see. 30. What comes after 30? Add 10 more. 10 ones. 40. Add 10 ones. 50. Add 10 ones. 60. Add another set of 10 ones. 70. Add another set of 10 ones. 80. Add another set of 10 ones. Holy cow, friends, this is a lot. What comes after 80? 90. And the big one, friends, what comes after 90? 100. Good job. 10 tens makes 100. Oh, I'll go back to that screen. Go ahead and hit pause if you'd like to finish up your work. Great job. All right, friends, how would we say this the say 10 way and the regular way? Last problem, you've got this. How many do I have? Good. If you're counting the say 10 way, that you're on the right track. 10, 20, 30, 40. So we're going to write 40 with me. Ready? Um, down, across, down some more. That's the way to make a four. And then we're going to write a zero. Four zero is 40 dots. And we say four tens. I have four filled 10 frames. I have 40. We can also flash 40 with our hands, okay? We know that we have 10 fingers, so we're going to go like this. 10, 20, 30, 40. You just flashed me 40 fingers. Well done. Thanks for joining me, friends.